Hey guys, welcome back to Thelemans. Doodle is celebrating Toot Thelemans. Do you know about Toot Thelemans? Let's talk about. Toot Thelemans was a Belgian jazz musician. He was mostly known for his chromatic harmonica playing as well as his guitar whistling skills and composing. According to jazz historian Ted Diana, his most important contribution was in championing the humble harmonica, which Thelemans were made into a legitimate voice in jazz. He eventually became the preeminent jazz harmonica player. His first professional performances were with Benny Goodman's band when they toured Europe in 1949 and 1950. He immigrated to the US in 1951, becoming a citizen in 1957 from 1953 to 1959. He played with George Shearing and then laid his own groups on tour in the US and Europe. He was born in Brussels on 29th of April 1922. His parents owned a cafe. He began playing music at an early age using a homemade accordion and uh, at age 3. During the German occupation of Belgium beginning in 1940, he became attracted to jazz but was then playing on full size accordion or a harmonica which he taught himself to play in his teens. After being introduced to the music of Belgian born jazz guitarist Tizano Reinhardt, he became inspired to teach himself guitar which he did by listening to Reinhardt's recordings. At the time he was a college student measuring in math. By the words and in 1945 he considered himself a full time musician. He said in 1950s, Tizano is still one of my main influences. I think for ly lyrics him, he can make me cry when I hear him. During an interview in a 1988, he recalled, I, guess I was born at the right time to live and adapt and he touched by the evolution in the just language. He played in two Silverio pieces stories, Gamnino, Pasrito, Voga Wondo and Monolo Gitano Sog Nato. Today's search engine Google Doodle is showing a different doodle to teach Thelemans 100th birthday. A small instrument delivered soulful sounds when it was in the hands of Belgian musician and composer Tour Thelemans. Known for his chromatic harmonica skills, he made a name for himself in the genre of jazz. He also played guitar and professionally whistled his way up international charts throughout his musical career. Today's doodle illustrated by guest artist Melvina Crontown hits all the right notes by celebrating two Salmon's contribution to the jazz world on what would be his 100th birthday. Toots picked by the accordion at 3 years old and quickly found himself in trend people at an early age. He would eventually grow up and become a performing musician at his parents' cafe. As a teenager, he got his hands on a harmonica, but it was not until he heard Lewis Armstrong on record that he discovered jazz. In the early 1940s, he picked up the guitar and began performing and touring with other talented musicians. Toots is widely uh, considered an uh, unrevealed harmonica player and a true jazz master. He continued recording with other artists and performing publicly late into his life. After his passing, many collected and showcased his records, ticket stops and autographs will, uh, while museums displayed donated items and instruments from his personal, personal collections. Thelemans received a joint honorary decorate from the Universite Library, the Bruxelles and the Wurzels Universite for Brazil, Belgium in 2001. He was raised into a Belgian nobility by King Albert and created Baron Thelemans of Life. This in recognition of his contribution of music. He chose the motto, Be Yourself, No More, No Less. He was nominated for the title of the Greatest Belgian in 2005. 
in the Flemish version he finished in 20th, 20th place and in Wallon version he came 44th. Because of health issues that led to so cancellations, Simons announced his retirement on 12th of March 2040, cancelling all scheduled concerts. He was also hospitalized for a broken arm. His manager stated that Simons wants to enjoy the rest he deserves. However, he did make one more stage appearance announced in August 2014 at the Jazz. Midlane Festival in Antwerp. Thalmans died in Brain Allied, Belgium at the age of 1994 and he died on 22nd August 2016. So today the uh, Google Doodle is celebrating his 100th birthday. Happy birthday to Thalmans. Hope you like this video then do like comment share and subscribe press the bell icon for more latest videos thanks for watching